Hello and welcome to Infinity. Classic problem is how to select here. And here's a lovely example, sitting on a hilltop somewhere with wind blowing the hair all over the place. So let's get going. We'll start with the selection brush tool and we'll set a radius, a right square bracket, sort of. Let's uh, select a fair amount at once. We'll select most of this here. Don't worry, but we've gone outside a bit in places. There we go. Then I'll hold on the Alt key and paint away some of the outside stuff. And then go back here and fill in this. Then smaller brush, left square bracket, Alt, and click to. There we are. Fill out that. Any more up there? Yeah, maybe a bit. You, you fill as much as you can without it sort of going wild and going elsewhere. There we go. That's that's good enough. Yeah, we've got all this now, haven't we? Yep. Right. And if it way to check this, by the way, hit Q. Looks like with anything missing. That's about right, isn't it? Q. Q again. Oh, there's a bit down the corner, wasn't there? Just fill in that. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is do a refine. So I go to the refine button up here. I'm going to back the refine dialog here. We're going to focus in on the hair. Never mind, never mind that bloke there. Oh look, there's a bit up there we missed. And we'll make the hill here a bit bigger here. Let's see if we can fix his hair for him. Uh, that's mostly there. That'll do. This is the hair we're mostly interested in because it's a difficult one. So let's zoom into this. And oops, beg your pardon. Let's move over here a bit. Here we go. And then we can start. start. Typically, what we're going to do, because we start here with Matt, um, and we want to paint the areas first of all. Typically, that are we've got a bit of background in like that. Here we go. And we're just painting that, and we can see that when it goes red, we've got a bit of the background showing through. We do one bit at a time, don't try to do lots. And there's a bit up there and so on. Okay, okay, we're getting most up there, aren't we? So now then, now we get to the more interesting bits. What about bits down here? So should I, let's try and make this brush a bit smaller and paint along this. And is it is it selecting it? It's a bit okay. What about if I go out here? Look, it's not really selecting this very well here, is it? I paint, try painting this here. Here's a counterintuitive thing to make the brush bigger. Let's see if you can do it with a bigger brush. Look, now it's selecting it. So, why is that? The reason is because you're giving Affinity a lot more to play with, going, here's a bunch of stuff, the important bit somewhere in the middle, see if you can figure it. And if you can see more background and a little bit of hair, it goes, that's the bit I need to select. So if the little bits aren't working, let's uh, try a little bit bigger there. That's getting some there, okay, all right. And then we can do just bits like this. And around here. There we go. And so just sort of a chunk at a time. And we're gonna not worry too much about this. There we go. And go out to here and so on. Here we go, painting, tumpty tum. This is where I have to tell you a story or something. Okay, let's have a look at that. We've got an awful lot of it here. Now, what we can do here to see how much we've got. To change the preview. So normally we start off with overlay where red is the background 
and uh, no fancy color is the foreground and if I change this and um, go down to black matte you can see the here here but it's difficult to see because we've got a black background and dark hair so that's not much help but it would be good if it was the other around we've got white things light things we're selecting so let's change this again and go to white matte now that's better isn't it now we can see a lot more of what we're selecting we can check for backgrounds in here you see there's a bunch of it's a looking a bit smudgy in there we can paint on that is that going to make it a bit better no, that's a bit odd, isn't it? That's getting there, that's good. but we can start working on that because the next thing to do is to look down here and go to black and white because now we can see here more of the background thing. So what we can do now is to change this now to background. Now we make our brush smaller and we paint into those areas going, that bit's background. And see where it pushes it back away and the, there's more background there. And this takes longer, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. So you can go around the outside here saying, here's a bit of background, pair a bit here, pair back here, and so on. And there we go. So that lets us, control zero, get to a lot more. We can also go back and say foreground, so a bit of head up there, and foreground. And you'll see what happens if you miss it, you'll get a sudden leak out, the, out of there, a rather large one and so on. So there's one here. I missed that. Is that going to fix that? There we go. Okay. So now when we're ready, we can hit apply. And now we've got the, these figures here selected. Then to select them out, one click down here is a mask. That's got rid of the background. We can always paint back things if they're not appearing properly here. We can hit Control D now because we're working on masks and no longer on selections. And if we want to, we can put something into the background. So let's just go File, Place, and we'll pick another background. And then we can just draw a picture here so it covers the whole thing. But that's at the top of the layers. We now want to put that underneath. And there we go. Here we've got the two handsome figures here with a completely new background. Okay, there we go, and thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.